Hi ladies, Ali here from Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I would talk about the best oils for anti-aging. Now oils come in many different guises. You have for instance essential oils, oils which are base oils and you've also got facial oils and it's the facial oils that I'm really sort of concentrating on today. Now, but before I do so, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please like, and that'd be great. So oils. Now, in the evening, I tend to use an oil and I'm, I'm going to quickly, briefly go through this one because although it's not really a facial oil, it is a facial oil, but it's a cleansing oil, which really is in another category of its own. But I thought I'd just touch on this before I show you facial oils because it's still an oil which we're using on your face. Um, I do have this one here, a Clinique one. Now, very quickly, I'm not sponsored at all. These, all these products are my own products and I do use them regularly, as you can see. <laughs> Not very much in there. Now, when you wash your face and double cleanse in the evening, the first thing I would tend to do is use a facial oil. And because an oil will take off oil, if you like, it sort of holds to its own. So this here, just a little bit, and you just rub it in so it's all nice and dispersed. And then I would just rub it onto the skin, it takes off the eye mascara, anything like that. And then after that, I would then put another um, I would then use another face wash afterwards. But I first of all, I would use an oil for my face. So that's done that. So that's the face wash oils, if you like, balms. Um, I'll probably do another video on that another time. But I thought I'd just touch on that first. Right, so face oils. Now, you can get some very heavy ones, which is great if you've got extremely dry skin. Things like avocado oil and coconut oil and macadamia oil which personally I wouldn't put on my face I find them too heavy and cloggy um, but they're quite useful for instance things like the elbows the knees heels of your feet anywhere you've got any dry patches are great for those the so oils I tend to use are lightweight now I don't use oils in the morning um, because I just, you know, you, I've got other products on and I don't want to be walking around with a shiny face. I do tend to use them in the evening and I use them when I'm massaging my face and that's great. Now, I'm just going to show you a few of the oils I'm use, I use and how I apply them. Now, first of all, when I use an oil, because I use tretinoin and retinol, if you like, I would put my retinol, tretinoin on first and I'll leave it to seep in for a good two hours if I can. So that's all on and then it's set, set, seeped in and that's absorbed into my skin, done its job and then I can apply my oil. I would never put it on directly after a tretinoin. So two hours later, before I'm going to bed, the last sort of thing if you like, I would then could do a face massage with some oil. Now, oils I've got here, now this is a rosehip oil I bought. I've got to say, I'm not very keen on the scent of it, and it's a very vibrant orange, but it's an organic rosehip oil, and I love rosehip oil. I think it's probably the best one. Rosehip oil contains vitamin C, and more importantly, vitamin A, which is great because that is, we could say, the natural retinol to skin. So if I'm going to do some massaging on my skin, I feel like it's doing something else as well. Um, and the one I use is this one, and this is from Holland and Barrett, and it's an organic rose oil, and I do love the scent of it. It's um, it's not such a vibrant colour. You can see there. It just smells lovely. And then I'll show you my last oil, and then how I apply, and also what not to do with oils. So the other oil I have here, it's a bit of an unusual one, this one, is from Tropic. They call it a serum, but to be honest, it's more like an oil. And it's, it's gosh, it's made with kale and with chlorophyll and maca root extracts. It's this really garish green. And I've got to say, it smells of kale. If you like kale, it's great. I love my greens, but I mean, you, it's like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. I mean, it really does have quite a kale green scent. Now, when you buy an oil, you always want to make sure, really, if you could, that it's in a bottle 
a glass bottle, not plastic, and also, because it would last longer, but also that the bottle is in a coloured bottle, preferably dark brown like this one, or something like Neil's Yard, they have one which is blue, which is perfect, anything dark, because it's not letting the light in, which is great, so these are very good. If you do have one, which is, for instance, this one, although it looks orange, the bottle is actually, the glass is actually clear. So if I put that by the light, that's not going to last very long. So if you do have one in a glass bottle, just put it, if you can, in a dark space. So that is great. Now, also, I would I'll just show you here. Now, when you do buy one, always check on the date, or even if you've got one and haven't used an oil for a long time, check the date, because if it's out of date, it's not going to do your skin any good. It's going to start creating more different um, other sort of toxins within the hair, if you like, and it's not going to do your skin any favours. So always make sure that your oil is in date. Now, when I apply an oil, before I, once I've washed my face, put my balm on, got my retinol, my tretinoin, I'm two hours into it, I'm about to apply my oil. I'm not going to put an oil straight on my face because an oil actually, yes, it goes on the surface of the skin, but it's not going to penetrate any further. And so what's on the skin, you want to actually put something which is really soothing and, and actually which is moisturising. So you want to put either a serum or a moisturiser, some type of humectant if you like, on your skin. I like to use either a multi-peptide or something like a hyaluronic acid, um, you know, which plumps up, um, or a, a very light moisturiser, nothing too heavy. So put a, I'd put a serum or a moisturiser and literally straight away you can then apply your oil. Now when I apply an oil, so first of all I'll just show you first, so I would have my hyaluronic acid for instance. Now I don't have any skincare on so I thought I'd show you, so I would first of all apply my, now this is my hyaluronic acid but you could put on a, as I say, a serum and you want to put it all on your face and always never forgetting the neck. And then once that's on, you're quite happy you've dispersed it all throughout. I would then apply my oil. Now, again, I would probably use my, my favorite. So I would just, you do not need too much. You just need one or two drops. A little goes a long way and you don't want your face completely you know, shiny, and I would mix it into the hands, rub it in, and then just gently press. So once my oil is on there, I mean, you could do some massage with it, you could do some lymphatic drainage, or you could just, you could even do some tapping, again, to get that uh, lymphatic system going, and all the toxins out of the face, but whatever you do, you know, you don't want to sort of put too much on. And then that will, because we put on the hyaluronic acid and then we've got the oil in, that is going to keep in any moisture within the face. Locks it in. So there we have it. Oils for the face for anti-aging. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful for you. Again, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and please like, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.